are here to show off Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Um, it's the third title in the series. The first two were on Nintendo 64. And the whole big feature of this game is that you can find a bunch of components and pieces and build the vehicles of your dreams. It's almost like having a virtual Lego kit to build whatever you want. Everything you can do from the previous games, you can absolutely do in this one. I mean, from simple things like climbing up telephone poles and getting onto buildings to building vehicles with springs and stuff like that. So all the platform elements from the previous games are still in there, absolutely. There's a lot of stuff you can do to kind of level up your character as well, where you collect music notes, which you use as currency. You can go and buy different blueprints of pre-made vehicles. You can go to a gym and work out your character and make him stronger. So, I mean, there's a lot of those classic elements that people love. There's a lot of good ways that people have been coming up with, you know, you can manipulate almost any object in the environment. You can tear things apart, knock things down. So your ability to manipulate things in the environment can help you solve the puzzles a lot easier if you kind of think outside the box. It's very similar to the classic Banjo games. There's a main hub world called Showdown Town, and I believe it's the biggest level that Rare has created in one of their games yet. And so in that part of the town, you've got a lot of NPCs running around. There's kind of a corrupt cop named Pikelet who chases you around and tries to arrest you. And there's a lot of little mini quests you can do in Showdown Town. That's where the gym is. You can find uh, a lot of the hidden characters there. And then as you collect jiggies and take them to the jiggy bank, you can unlock all new worlds. And there's five different challenge worlds in the game. It's the third in the Banjo franchise. It's definitely a platformer type game. Um, it's, we're shooting to have it out for November of this year. Um, we've got a great Xbox Live component that you can play with your friends, up to eight players online. And the campaign is probably one of the funniest scripts I've ever seen in a video game. So it's a lot of fun. Yeah. <laughs>